So I picked up a new Drake, new to me anyway, T4X. This was the first separate transmitter I'm assuming they had. I picked this up at the Lark Hamfest, which was Pacificon on October 17th, 2021. Anyway, this thing has a few issues. It wouldn't transmit at all. And I found everything was working. Um, I guess the speed oscillator had output. The PTO had output. And what else did it leave? Well, the crystals underneath had output for the 11.1 .1 mix and didn't have anything. So I find finally find the B plus resistor, which has been the culprit, the 680 ohm B plus resistor that supplies B plus to the uh, 12BY7 and everything else was uh, was smoked. So I fixed that and this thing is back in action. Anyway, this one works pretty good. I'm really impressed with it. I didn't have to do much to it. Just replace that resistor. It pretty much came back to life. Somebody goofed up the mechanics of the uh, pre-selector here for the uh, drive selection. That's not doing too well. But besides all that, this gives us a pretty good way to uh, show people how to adjust the uh, carrier knob and the sideband frequency. So what I found is the best way to adjust these, first of all, is get an SDR running, a cheap RTL SDR dongle, and run it with uh, Cubic SDR software. So I'm running this thing on a Mac, iMac, and with that running, it's pretty easy to get this thing up and running, this uh, Drake. So there's the uh, frequency for the sideband, passband, and so what you want to do then is, first of all, you want to detune the uh, the balance modulator. So there's the carrier and all, and this is a 20 turn pot. You can take this up like 10 turns until it's stiff. Don't turn it too much. This will detune the uh, balance modulator, so we'll get a carrier on this thing. There, it's up all the way, detuned to one side. So now if I key the mic, you should see, let's see, we have to go to SSB, we're on SSB. No drive, no drive at all. SSB mode, and then we should get a slight carrier here. Okay, yeah, so you can see a carrier there. And I guess I could put some sound on so you can hear it, which maybe makes it more exciting. All right. So there's a carrier. And what you want to do is make sure, I'm going to put the mic here on lock. There, it's locked. So now what you want to do is make sure this intensity is the same on upper and lower sideband mode. So here's the upper and lower sideband switch. I'm going to rock this back and forth and watch that. And you'll see it's pretty close. So that's one way to do it. The more precise way is to listen to the sideband itself. So we can put the mic back down so it unlocks and actually listen to the sideband. So I'm on lower sideband now. And if I go to lower sideband here, which I am, we can now try and listen to the actual sound. And if you get the sound to be equal to an upper and lower with the SDR, you're on the money. Okay, there's the sidebands. There's the sound. Testing one, two. Let's get some volume up here. Testing one, two, three. Okay, so that about is reasonable. One, two, three, reasonable. Okay, now we take it to upper side band. So we'll upper side band the SDR here. Upper side band the Drake rig. There it is. And now my voice should sound the same. Voice sounds the same. Okay, you hear how it sounds the same? So you adjust this until the voice sounds the same. If it's unbalanced, and let me screw it up, it will be bad. So if I tweak this and goof it up, okay, it's been tweaked. Now, you'll see the voices won't be the same between the two sidebands. Sideband test, one, two, three. Okay, that one's real high, right? And I go here. So when your drake's tuned right, it should sound the same, on the same frequency, upper and lower. Okay, and this one is real low, real low, one, two, three. So if I then 
take this back where it was. Now you can see why I'm doing this, right? This is how to fix it. So you take this back a little bit, frequency, and check the voice up the lower. Okay, this sounds a bit more reasonable. And let's go to uh, upper on the SDR. Go to upper on the rig. This sounds a bit more reasonable. Okay, let's take it down a bit. It's a little too high in, in note. Let's see if this takes it down here. Is this down or up? That's the wrong way. So let's go this way. Here we go. Down or up, down or up. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Let's check the other side now again. LSB. LSB. One, two, three. Okay, as you can see, it's on the money. This is on the money. We are on the money on SSB adjust on LSB. Okay, now go to USB here, upper sideband. Upper sideband. Testing upper sideband. It sounds the same. So that's how to do it. Once those sound the same, you're all set. Okay, now, since you've unbalanced the balance modulator, you have some carrier coming out. So you want to basically now tune this for no carrier. So go to no modulation, SSB mode, bring up a carrier, and watch the scope here, watch the receiver. You want to get that carrier down nothing. So I know I turned this thing up real high, so I'm going to turn this thing down until I get no carrier, okay? So you can watch the screwdriver here. Okay, I'm going to turn it clockwise. Okay, watch the, uh, turn this light off. Okay. Let's watch the carrier and watch the screwdriver here. How's that? There's the screwdriver, there's the carrier. You want to get it down to nothing if you can. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. That's as null as we're going to get, and I'll take that. So, we're all set. Why the hum? Not sure, but a little bit of hum there. Okay, that should do it. Let's check sideband again, make sure it's working. We're on upper. Upper test. Upper sideband test. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's check AM here. There's AM mode. My other T4XB has trouble with AM. It's all it has a lot of. So picking up this new uh, this new uh, TX4. Or T4X, I'm sorry, T4X. Picking up this T4X has been useful because I can probably fix the other one, the uh, T4XB, uh, with, with this one, with knowing more about this one. Okay, so here's AM mode. Let's give it some modulation. AM mode test, AM mode test. So this works really well. This works super, super well, and there's a good AM signal. Okay, and they say there's no um, ALC on AM on a Drake, and this is grid modulated AM. Grid modulated AM on a Drake. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, testing. Okay, so I'm super happy with how this Drake turned out. I only had to replace one resistor in it, make a few adjustments, and it's working great. It's probably the best buy of my five Drake radios that I have here now, so I'm really happy with this one. It needs to be cleaned up a bit, but it works. It works pretty darn good without too much fuss, so it's probably my luckiest purchase of all. Let's go to lower sideband. Give it a check on lower again. Lower sideband testing one, two, three, four, five. Go back to upper sideband. 
upper side band test one two three four five balanced one two three four so yeah this was how to tune the drake uh i didn't have to touch these cans at all uh those be tuned i think for peak so this matches the filter here there's two of those cans one filter match can here one filter match can there you tune those for max for the ssb filter this one, you tune for the sideband being equal on upper and lower sideband and use an SDR and check it. An SDR is only $30, so believe me, you can afford to get an RTL SDR for $30 bucks and tune your rig this way. And then once you get the uh, sideband sounding the same, you will go to SSB, take the modulation and the RF all the way down, and then tune this thing for at least carrier into a receiver and a real set. So that pretty much does it. This little guy works pretty well. Pretty happy with it. Um, the uh, the knob here is kind of screwy. It's not reading right and it doesn't it doesn't lift the uh, slugs correctly. So somebody broke that but the radio basically works. So a little more fine tuning and this one can go back together and be all set. I still want to fix this stuff you take all this apart to clean inside of it, clean the front of it, clean the knobs off. Because they're filthy. These videos are always filthy. Clean off all the dust out of here. This one though isn't too bad. It isn't too dusty. It isn't too crusty. It's uh it works great. I'm I'm happy with the fact that this plane works. Didn't have to do much to it, and it's got good final, so got lucky at the hand fest. Anyway, it was fun talking to the seller of the radio. I'm not sure where he got it. I think he might have got it from somebody else to hemp fest and flipped it. I don't know, but he was really nice. I really enjoyed talking to him. And looks like this one has the uh, shields on it. There's even heat there's even shields in the tubes, which they're always lost. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, this is my surgeon back into ham radio after being out for since uh, probably the year 2000. So I've been out for 22 years, pretty much. And I don't think I have time to really go back into ham radio a lot. Um, I'm just having fun doing the fixing of these radios and then they're probably going to go into storage. Oh, I got to get back on on my software type stuff and do some software. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.